Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is a video two in a series of videos about how to set up your Wacom tablet properties. Okay, <clears throat> I usually start, uh, not with my functions or touch, I usually start setting up my grip pin and my art pin uh, to begin with. Now, when you click on the grip pin, you're going to open up a new window down here, and you have the option to clip, click on three tabs, pin, eraser, and mapping. And we're going to start with pin, okay? Now, <clears throat> because Painter has such a good pressure-sensitive uh, system inside of the software itself with brush tracking, there's no need to mess with uh, tip fill or tilt sensitivity, although tilt sensitivity is something that <clears throat> you may want to look at at some point. But right now, I would leave all of this at the default settings, and we'll talk more about it, uh, about this part, uh, a little bit later. Okay, the what I would change, though, or what I do program, is I program these two keys right here on the uh, grip pin. <clears throat> now the top key, the one closest to the uh, eraser, I usually program that to undo. And the way I do that, or you would do it, would click on the down arrow here, go to keystroke, and what you would let me clear this. Um, I would hold down the control key and then hit the Z. And control Z equals undo. And there you want to type in the name of the command, uh, undo command. Now, a little bit of information here. If I wanted to, <coughs> to uh, get rid of the Z or the control Z or whatever, uh, I can't hit backspace. See, if I hit backspace, backspace is going to pop up. And if I say delete, that's not going to work either. If you want to clear this space, you want to use clear. Okay? And then control plus C to put it back. And everything is okay. We'll go just like that. All right. The next button down is, uh, or I usually program that to be a my dropper tool or color picker. Uh, and so if you click on the down arrow and go to modifier, modifier allows you to use things like the shift key, the alt key, and the control key. So I'm going to click on alt. Now, if you're in a Mac, this would be command and this would be uh, option. So I'm going to click on the alt and say, okay. And now I have modifier with alt. Now, again, what that's going to do is if I have a color here and I've got my grip pen, I'm using my grip pen. If I click on the front first clicker, it automatically brings in my color picker. And so I can pick a color from anywhere that allows me to pick uh, using that little uh, clicker. All right, let's bring this back up. Now, <clears throat> what I also do is I leave the eraser the way it is uh, to the default setting, and I leave mapping to the default setting, okay? And I do the exact same thing with my art pen <clears throat> so that I've got undo and alt, and it, so it doesn't matter which pen I'm working with. I always know to go to undo and alt. All right, we'll come back in a few minutes and talk about uh, programming something else in the Wacom tablet properties. Okay now, bye-bye. Talk to you later.